Question 15. The graph shows the speed of a car in metres per second during the first 20 seconds of a journey. Part A. Work out an estimate for the distance a car travelled in the first 20 seconds. Use four strips of equal width. OK, one of the facts of knowledge you need before you go into um, the exam is that on a speed time graph, the area underneath the graph represents distance. You can work that out in the exam, but it is far easier just to go in knowing that. And we're going to use four strips of equal width. So as it goes on for 20 seconds, I'm going to use my strips every five seconds to split it into four. So here's my four strips. Um, I also need to put the top on. This one's going to be a triangle. And then I've got three trapeziums. You can use a rectangle instead of these trapeziums, but generally um, you should be using a trapezium. And all we've got to do now is work out the area of the four shapes and that will represent the distance travelled. So shape number one is a triangle which is base times height. The base is 5, the height is 22 and then I have to half it. If I pick up my calculator that becomes 55 uh, metres. Notice there's no square units here because it's the distance the car travelled. And at this point, I've got one of the three marks. For area two, I'm looking at the area of, of a trapezium, which is half multiplied by the length of the two parallel sides, so it's 22 plus uh, 27. So it's a half of that multiplied by the height, which is 5. Each height is going to be 5 here, because each unit is 5. Between 5 and 10, there's 5 units. Between 10 and 15, there's 5 units, and so on. So 22 plus 27. Make sure you use your calculator here. You don't want to... 122.5. You don't want to drop marks. Because you don't use your calculator. I'll put the third one up here. Again. It's a trapezium, so it's going to be a half, lots of 27, plus, and this time, this goes up to 32, Oops, times 5. So that's going to be 147.5 metres. And the fourth one, again, it's still a trapezium, so it's a half, multiplied by the length of the two parallel sides, 32 plus, uh, this one here must be 35, multiplied by 5, because 5 is the height, and that gives me 167.5 metres. Once I have a correct method for all four um, areas, so the triangle and the three trapeziums, I have the third mark and my fourth mark is to use my calculator, sorry, I have the second mark and my third mark is to use the calculator to add them up and I get 492.5 metres, which will be my third mark. There is a range of um, the correct answer here because some of these numbers might be slightly misread and you could have used a rectangle. So your range of values you could give and still get full marks was anything from 488 to 507. That would get you full marks. Part B, is your answer to part A an underestimate or an overestimate of the actual distance? Give a reason.
If we go back to part A and look at the picture, you can see here my blue line, which is the top of my trapezium or triangle, is below the actual journey the car took. It's very close at points, but things like here, I just highlight this bit here in uh, green, this bit here hasn't been counted as part of the distance. The blue line is below the actual journey. So it would be an underestimate as the um, side of the trapezium or triangle is below the actual journey line. And that will get you one mark.